Do you hear an excessive vibration through the machine enclosure when the machine is running at high RPM? This could be either the spindle or the tool is out of balance. Inline spindle goes through a two-step balancing process here at the factory. After the assembly, they are balanced at a precision balancing station. Then after the spindle is installed in the machine, it is final balance before inspection. It's extremely rare for a spindle to go out of balance by itself. So unless you notice an unusual noise, vibration, or cutting characteristics, you don't need to be concerned with the balance of your machine's spindle. If you believe that your spindle has excessive vibration, rather than assuming it's bad and replace it, there's a simple way to balance that spindle right on the machine. But before we start working on the spindle, let's make sure the tool holder we're using isn't causing the vibration problem. Install a balanced tool holder rated G2.5 or better and run the spindle at max RPM and note whether the vibration or noise problem still exists. If it does, then proceed to check in the spindle. All you need to do is gain access to the spindle is to remove the spindle head cover. First, check that the spindle motor is correctly aligned with the spindle. Break loose the motor mounting bolts and run the spindle at 750 RPM, allowing the motor to self-align. And then slowly tighten the bolts and torque them to the spec. Now, if that doesn't solve the problem, it's time to take a look at the spindle. There are two ways to do this test. The first way is to use a vibration analyzer, your balance tool holder rated G2.5, and a laptop with the correct software. This is the preferred method of balancing the spindle. Access the threaded holes along the side of the guide release ring. You'll need a selection of 1032 set screws ranging from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch to perform this procedure. Now, number each of the holes on the guide release ring, one through six. Begin with a 1032 by one eighth of an inch set screw and thread it to the bottom of hole number one. Install the balance tool in the spindle to ensure the drawbar is in the clamp position. Set up the vibration analyzer and run the spindle at max RPM. Make a note of the height of the displacement spike at max RPM. Move the set screw to each of the other five holes, noting the height of the spike at each hole. As we move through the initial check, one of these six locations will have the lowest spike. This is the spot that needs the balancing weight. With the set screws available in your kit, and with the depth of the threaded hole available, add more or less weight at this one hole until you've achieved the smallest displacement spike at the max spindle speed. Now, if you are able to make an acceptable vibration plot below the max spec, then you're done. Remove the set screws that you've installed and apply a drop of Loctite to each one. Reinstall them and run the test again. If the vibration does not improve within spec, then you can consider replacing the spindle. Not everyone will have the luxury of owning a special balance tool holder and a computer equipped with a vibration analyzer installed. So here's a second way to balance an inline spindle on your Haas machine. Find the most well-balanced tool holder in your shop, install it in the spindle, and run the spindle at max RPM. Place your hand on the machine enclosure. If you can feel an excessive vibration in the enclosure, then you will begin the balancing process. Again, number the holes on the guide release ring, one through six. Begin with the lightest 1032 set screw possible. This will be around an eighth of an inch in length. Install the set screw in hole number one, all the way until it stops. Run the spindle at max RPM. Place your hand on the machine enclosure. The vibration will either get better or worse. Try the set screws in each of the six holes and note which hole seems to give you the most improvement. If you don't notice any change, then repeat the same step with the next larger set screw. 
Once you find the hole and set screw that makes an improvement, then try adding additional weight to the same hole. Don't allow the set screw to stick out past the side of the guide release ring. When you're satisfied with the result, remove the set screws that you've installed and apply a drop of Loctite to each one. Reinstall them and run the test again. In our case here, the spindle sounds good and the vibration is within spec. Now, reinstall the spindle head cover. For more information, visit HaasCNC.com and thanks for watching.